Hi everyone, it's Miss Anders here. I've got a new story for you. Hansel and Gretel. Timmy is listening too. Hansel and Gretel lived with their father, a poor woodcutter, in a little cottage in the forest. When Hansel and Gretel's mother died, their father married again. Hansel and Gretel's new stepmother was selfish and mean. The cruelest woman they have ever seen. One night, when the children were in bed, Hansel and Gretel's stepmother said, Husband, we only have food for one more day. We must send Hansel and Gretel away, otherwise we will all starve. Father said no. Stepmother said they have to go. Later that night, Hansel crept outside and collected some pebbles. In the morning, when father took the children into the forest, Hansel dropped the pebbles as they walked. Father told Hansel and Gretel to wait for him, but he didn't come back. Soon it was dark. Some pebbles shone white in the bright moonlight to show Hansel and Gretel the way home. Hansel and Gretel walked through the night to get home. Father was happy to see them, but stepmother was cross. Naughty children, she said. I will show you who is boss. She told father he must take the children back into the forest and leave them there. When Hansel and Gretel went down to collect some more pebbles, he found the door locked. Oh no! The next morning, father took Hansel and Gretel deep into the forest. He gave them bread to munch for their lunch. And Hansel used some of it to make a tray of crumbs. At the end of the day, the crumbs will help us find our way, he whispered to Gretel. Father told Hansel and Gretel, I'm going to chop some wood. Children, please be good and wait for me here. But he never came back. Gretel cried, We are all alone. Hansel replied, The crumbs will see us home. But the crumbs were not there. They were gone. The birds ate them. What will we do? Well, I will look after you. By the morning, Hansel and Gretel's tummies were rumbly and grumbly with hunger. Suddenly, just ahead, they saw a house made of gingerbread. A, ma a house made of sweets. A house we can eat. An old woman poked out her head. Come inside, my dears, she said. This way, children. But the old woman was a witch. She locked Hansel up and gave Gretel a mop. Do the housework, she said. Every day, the witch told Gretel, Cook your brother some tasty food. When he's nice and fat, he will taste good. And I will eat him. I like to eat little bullets. Every morning, the witch told Hansel, Hold out your finger so I can feel if you are fat enough to make a meal. Not fat enough yet. However, Hansel knew the witch couldn't see. Her eyes were so sore and red. So he tricked her and held out a bone instead. <laughs> One day, the witch couldn't wait any longer. I'm going to cook and eat Hansel, she said. Gretel, light the oven now. Gretel replied, but I don't know how. The nasty witch cried, just crawl inside. Look, I'll show you 
how to do it right, Gretel pushed the witch and shut the door tight. Gretel unlocked the cage. She and Hansel could go. He's a key. I'm free. But first they went round the cottage looking high and low. They opened the door and oh, what a sight. They found piles of jewels all sparkling and bright. Wow. Hansel and Gretel soon found their way home, where father was waiting all alone. I'm so glad you're back. Your stepmother has gone, he said, hugging them tight. From now on, everything will be all right. With the witch's jewels, they would never be poor again, and they all lived happily ever after. What a lovely story. And remember, boys and girls, never to talk to strangers. See you soon.